when we have deep neural networks, right, what we will have, uh, if we start composing the multiple different neurons and the computational models of the multiple different neurons, because in neural networks we will have n number, you know, many neurons connected to each other. So now we have to do the computational framework where we are aggregating the information across multiple different neurons. So typically you will have input which might be images or sound features or something like that, that will begin. And that's the input that you have. And then you will have this hidden layer, right? So this hidden layer will have its own weights and so on. And you might have multiple hidden layers finally before, before coming to your output that you have, right? So typically all the weights that we showed which helps you in doing the Z computation in a single neuron could be aggregated using a weight matrix and that is one what is done for each layer. So we might have, you know, this first layer and in this first layer, we will compose, you know, a weight matrix here. For the second one, we have a weight matrix and for the third one, we have a weight matrix. If that is a three layer neural network, okay. And we will compose this uses of weight matrix in the Z computation. And then that will be basically passed on through an activation function like ReLU or TANH or Sigmoid and so on. And that's how the overall computational pipeline passes on. So in, when we talk about deep neural networks, you know, again, we have multiple layers of simple units. Each unit computes a weighted sum of input, which is basically stored in the weight matrix form. And the weighted sum is passed along this nonlinear function. And this, in the networked form, becomes the computational pipeline behind the neural networks that we have. So what I showed in the previous slide was just a single unit. But what I showed here is essentially the composition or the main things that you need to be considering and computing uh, when you are considering the network which is essentially multiple different networks connected to each other. And essentially what does the algorithm does, the learning algorithm is changes the weight in different iteration. So it randomly starts from somewhere and it iteratively it changes the values of this weight matrices in, in between different layers. And when it converges, that gives you a complex input to output mapping function. So with that, let's see what are the main components of a neural network, okay? Again, we have input, which is the data set. We have output, which might be weights or probabilities, all right? We, in between, we have neurons and activation functions that we talked about, sigmoid, tanh, and ReLU. We have weights and biases, which are essentially the parameters that we are, you know, these are uh, weights and biases are essentially the parameters of learning algorithm. And this is something that we try to optimize. And if we optimize this, and once we have converged on this, this essentially, the final value of this weights and biases are what we are interested in tuning or you know learning from the data set that we have. And again, in order to enable this learning paradigm, what we also have in neural networks is the use of this loss function, right? Which help us computing what is known as cost function, which is essentially a summation of loss function for the training set. So for a training set, we will you know, pass on that training set and compute a loss function. And then we average that out to get what is known as cost function. And this cost function is essentially optimized using an optimization algorithm like stochastic gradient descent that helps us in solving uh, and converging to the final values for the weights and biases, which are the parameter of this optimization algorithm. So what are the different computations that we do? You know, we start with data, input data. We have some, some iteration, which is the iteration of learning or epochs or multiple um, uh, duration in which we run the optimization algorithm. And each of this, we are doing some sort of, you know, loss function or a cost function evaluation, okay? And this is enabled by three main steps of you know, machine learning or your neural network architecture. So it doesn't matter whether your architecture is shallow or deep, these three main steps, so this is step number one, right? This is step number two, and this is the weight update is the step three. Those are the three main steps that are involved in the learning process of any 
you know, artificial neural network. And that is known as forward propagation, or sometimes it's known as forward prop, or backward. Second one is a backward propagation, which is known as backward prop. And the third step is weight update, which allows us to basically tune the overall network that we have.